So we're glassing for deer again, and we spotted a buck. We're right behind the trailer, and we are looking at the tippy top of these hills up here, and right up there, we've got a buck, and right at these trees, Right over here, we've got three does. But this guy that's way up top of there, we've got an eye on him, trying to figure out what he is. And that is well, maybe a mile back there. Maybe more than that, yeah. He's right here in the shade. He's literally right in the shade. You can barely see his head in the rack. It's going to be a busy tumbleweed. Perfectly broadside. Where's your lap? The, the, the other one is behind that yellow flower on that rock. Yeah. Almost there. Yeah, it feels like a camera. You on my back. Take three. Take three. Okay, I'm here with Jay, and he just shot a beautiful deer. I mean, this is a nice deer up there at the top of that mountain. How far was your shot, Jay? 
378 yards. 378, and we shot from one canyon to the other. We found a couple nice bucks, and we've been chasing them all day. So far back in this canyon, I don't think we're going to get out until the middle of the night. Like, we're, we're really far back here. But let me spin this camera around. Right there. Top of that hill up there is where he shot from here, and we are all the way back in the forest. We were really far back here, but right now we got to pack up, get our stuff. Yeah, the day's a little harder, and we don't got much time to go. By the time we get over there, it's going to take a couple hours just to get over there, and we got to go down and up. It's going to take about two and a half hours, and with all our gear and try to find that deer. When he shot it, it dropped behind that rock pile that they were sitting on. He stood up, stretched. We watched him sleep for two hours. <laughs> two hours, Jay's laying, he's laying in the prone position for two hours getting ready to shoot. Well, he finally stood up and he instantly shot and he just dropped right behind that rock. And and I don't know, I, I must have blinked or something. I don't know what happened, but it, he hit him, I mean, a deer crunched and just fell right down, so I, I think he got him, but we got to start our hike all the way over there and we'll see what happens. Which I'm not looking forward to. Yeah. All right, here we go. Might be better off going up between the two trees. Yeah. Maybe a video of them all the way across the whole hillside. There you go. It's up there, five. Yeah, five or six. It's been a year and we're back and here's the tree we got our acorns from. No, no acorns this year. There's, there's none around anywhere. From any, any tree. So it's a good thing that we got them last year. We'll look around and see if any other tree have any, but it's it's not looking good. So good thing we got them. What do you got over there? A little fat squirrel wearing a jacket eating a cookie. Well, that's our pet squirrel. There he is. I don't even know what kind of squirrel he is. But he likes it when we come because he gets cookies. He gets cookies.
that's an Arizona rattlesnake. Look at that sucker. How long do you think that is? Two, two feet? Three. Three feet, maybe? Three, three foot, yeah, so he can strike from where you're at. Yeah. You gotta coil up to do it. There's a, look, shining at his rattler. Mike, I wouldn't get that fucking close to him. I know. What, you gonna kick him? Hell no, I'm not touching him. Huh? Hell you can hear it, a lot. Yeah, if it's, an, if it's a protected one. How do you know? I don't know the, I don't know the types of it. He's still in a little strike position. I know, but that's an Arizona Rattler. I'm looking around for other ones. I don't know what kind it is. That's a big one. You hear that rattle? Yeah, man. He's fast. Well, he's safe now, I guess. Get in there! He's pissed. He is fucking pissed. Do you hear that fucking rattle? That's Woo. the noise you need to remember. Swings around, Jay. You're in big trouble. Yeah, hold his face away from you. He'll be dead by the time we get to the cat. Woo! Man, let's get out of here for the coyotes get us. from all over. So here we have a rattlesnake from Arizona. And we don't know what kind it is, but we're going to look it up. It got hit on the road last night. We saw three different rattlesnakes on the road, two of them dead, and one we saved, and we kind of chased him off to the side of the road. The one we saved was bigger than this one, and this one stretches the whole length of the bed of the truck. I guess he's almost four foot, but check out this rattle. I don't know how they do that, but it's louder than that, ain't it, Jay? Mm -hmm. It's pretty loud when they do that. Like, I can't really get it to make the sound, but when they do it, it's really loud. Let me show you his face. Got some pretty colors. 